Hey everybody, I promised you that I'd give you an update on the go-kart project, so um, this is what I've been working on since uh, the last time I made a video. Well, first thing I had to do install was this tie rod here that goes over and connects to the other side. And as you can see, I've got uh, got a bunch of holes drilled here to allow for adjustment from the steering shaft to uh, this piece. And you can see the uh, how it's going to steer. So next thing I need to do is build the steering shaft. So here is the steering wheel end of it. I've got a collar here and a stop to keep the shaft from sliding too far down. And then a shaft uh, collar a washer here and a, a, I guess a key collar that fits inside the steering wheel and doesn't allow it to spin inside the steering wheel. You'll see it's got two flats on it. So I've got my bracket welded on down here for the bottom and another bracket welded on up here for the top. And take the shaft insert it from the top go through the bracket at the bottom come on get in there and the collar is a bushing inside of this and then the steering wheel from my riding lawnmower you can see inside it's kind of got two flats in there steering wheel fits on there like that and next thing I've got to do is drill some holes in this which will fit on the end of the shaft and there'll be a bar from here to the other side so when you turn the steering wheel this will go back and forth, back and forth. Yeah. what's that Go back and forth? Yeah! And what is that going to do? Um, make the steering... Make the tire spin, whatever, I think that... Yeah, makes the tire spin, makes the wheel spin. Okay. Alright, this is a half inch shaft that I've run a fine thread half inch die on. And so I've got this nut started. I'm going to run it all the way down to the bottom and then I'll sandwich the arm that's going to actually tie to the tie rod on the go-kart um, in between two half inch nuts. Alright, now I've got both the nuts and the lock washer on there and the metal bracket that's going to actually tie to the steering and uh, so what I need to do now is drill about uh, four or five holes along the length of this bar uh, give me some adjustability in how fast the, the uh, steering wheel acts on the wheels and the range of the steering um, the range of angles that the wheels can t assume so uh, let me drill those holes and I'll get back with you in a second well I've cut this rod here actually cut it uh, to the right length then threaded it with a left hand die on this side and a right hand die on the other end so that uh, when I turn it in one direction the distance between the two ends gets narrower turn it in the opposite direction the two dis the distance between the two gets wider uh, just like a tie rod and it's not hitting on anything which is good and I've got some adjustability here on this end. Um, I tried a little lower setting, but then the steering gets a little too sensitive, so I'm going to leave it just like it is. So, looking good. Get the armor shape. All right, well, I got it complete now. I got the steer wheel on. Yep, he did. Got this. Yeah. 
the, the wheels. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now they're turning. You can see I need to put some stops on there. It's got a natural stop there, but I've got no stop there. I can turn it more than 90 degrees so I can steer from the top, I guess. So you can see the wheels turning. I think it's probably easier down this way. So there you go. Front suspension all done, the steering's all done. And so for the engine. And now we gotta work on what? The engine. The engine? Yeah. Wh where are you gonna sit? Oh, yeah. Right. Gotta put work on that too, right? Yeah, we're gonna do that tomorrow. Oh, look, it's a lizard. A lizard? Yeah. Alright, well don't put tape all over it because I gotta paint that and I can't paint over the tape. Okay? Okay.